Hey everybody, what's going on? Statron here, and I'm back with another video. And in this one, we're playing Batman the Tell and we're continuing this game to hype up the sequel that will be released physically in October. And I'm so excited to be playing this game. This game is awesome. Every time I play this game, I instantly get awesome Batman feels. And I don't think it's my favorite Batman game of all time because my Arkham games will always hold that spot. But man, this is a different series altogether, and I love it every second I play of it. So uh, please go ahead and like, favorite, comment, subscribe. That's the best way to support me. And this series, as you all know, um, is uh, pretty awesome. So uh, without further ado, we're going to resume game and continue this awesome story. Oh, and uh, where we left off, uh, Falcone kind of got shot in the head. But uh, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to try to think of happier thoughts, like literally anything else. All right. Time to resume. Cool car. That's all I got to say about that. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that and? up on the monitor. Oh, you don't know. The okay. residue we scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his I don't baby. think it's his chemicals anymore. His sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. At least according to him it wasn't. Does that make sense? Your father, Hill, and Falcone... Even though I could have sworn I heard Alex Joe Chill say that Falcone yeah, says hi. ...reference points on the two compounds. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. That's terrible. All right, let's check out the other one. Uh, where? Oh, there we go. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. Yeah, it was very messy. Jeez, that almost turned everyone violent. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Mass Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you. Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Oz. Where are you, Oz? this job we bring me her head it's definitely Oz though there's no doubt in my mind, at least. Uh, 
Rover Arkham right there. Ding, ding, dong. I'm assuming that that's the Skyline Club, yeah. The Skyline Club? Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh, yeah. Something tells me he's not going to be a fan of me, though. Yeah, I think he's going to have a bit of a problem with me trying to step on his toes. And his feet. Oh, this is very Batman Beyond. I know there's going to be more around here. The man probably had millions in his sock drawer. If, if Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Your boss won't be doing much of anything. Ever again. He did, man. He has no idea. You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know. Please. Oh, my. You can help me. Or... Let him go. Batman! Hey. It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? I guess this is a good time to quote Batman Begins. Where are the other drugs going? On live TV. I didn't even, I barely hit him. You're truly the defender of this city. You didn't finish the job yourself. Falcone deserve to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good <laughs> faith, I'm gonna let this one go. Thanks, Oz. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. What is his role then? I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a cat. This is gonna be interesting. He's a tall bloke. Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> and Oz knows her identity. That's no good either. Oh. He's a big boy. Jeez. All right, over.
Not a fan of his disappearing act. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Better go, and we better go now. Poor Selena's gonna end up hurt. End up hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Um... Uh, technical malfunction? That's pretty... pretty big! It wouldn't be a Telltale game without a bar fight. Or it wouldn't be a DC Telltale game without a bar fight. That sounds better. for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. Here. You lost? Because I don't have time for tours. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Once again. When aren't Don't they? I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> no, I'm trying just to lay low? trying to low profile. You're not really the low lying type. Look, back off. Now. <laughs> Jesus, man. No need to get all dramatical. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Seems more like he's trying to start a fight. Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Uh, <sighs> yeah. You've gotta be kidding. No good. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. Penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? <laughs> you two have a lot in common. Best friends! The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Whatever Penguin is planning, innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence. Not me. Bruce. Sweetie. The gallant knight thing. It really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Ooh. Harvey knows that. Keep 
Harvey out of this, the less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. Yeah. You and I... I kind of care. Get ready. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Hello or allo? Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Gentlemen, please, sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking. Here we go, then. Oh, yeah. Him. Through the table. And head crunch. Not done yet. Sweep kick. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. You broke my pool stick. I was going to play with that later. Oh, a Christmas stick city. I, I tried, I just failed a little bit. What? I died. How did that? That is wow. That's never happened to me before. Now. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. We should probably get out of here. You know. One dude did stab me. Jeez, I didn't even see him, like, there. Come on, this way. Yep, let's go. Wow, that's never happened to me. I was, I was, like, flabbergasted. Quick, check the alleyway. Let's go. See anything. Negative. Let's check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. No. Nope. Let's get out of here. Sadness. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait.
Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. <laughs> Sounds fair to me. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Don't care, you're hot. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Huh. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Sounds like Hill is working with them. I'm serious I'm about sure that. I guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's is talking this to Batmobile self-driving? That's sick. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Eh, yeah, we'll go as Bruce. Change it up a little bit. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Cool. That's awesome. Hopefully he's a little more talkative than I think he's going to be. I agree with Alfred. Terrorizing the mayor as Batman might not be the best deal after trying to gain his trust back. Well, this looks familiar. It's like I beat up a bunch of thugs in here. Cause I did. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir? Bruce Wayne? To see you? He'll be right out. I'm not waiting. Ho ho ho. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. How you doing, Hamilton? Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Try me. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. Hmm. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. 
Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Um, Harvey's my friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man no. that says I never no, left I such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. Wow. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on its last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill, and you're not getting back up. Tell him to increase security the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. That's going to do it for this episode. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you make sure to click on the like button. Uh, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of this episode. That is the best way to support me and everything I do. So uh, yeah. Uh, join me next time as we probably get to the debate. If I had to guess. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Something tells me bad things are on the rise. So uh, yeah. This is going to be Dactron myself signing out. Until next time. See ya.